Oh, hi guys, and welcome to the first top tens top tens list for the Silent God of War 20 Productions. I thought, I thought to kick this off, I give you my rundown of the top ten best South Park episodes. These are just in my opinion. So, okay, coming in at number ten is Breast Cancer Show Ever. The episode deals very heavily on the subject of breast cancer when and when Wendy comes up front to deliver a top uh, to deliver a warning on breast cancer, Cartman makes fun of it. But he makes fun of it in an over the top way. A way that's so over the top that he actually does well Wendy yeah, he actually does get into a fight with Wendy after she threatens to beat him up. And I think this will probably be the first time in a while that Matt and Trey have actually dealt with a serious topic in the show. Okay, uh, number nine, Christian Rockhard. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, um, how to sum this one up, okay. Stan, Kyle and Kenny, well first of all, Cartman goes off to start a Christian rock band after dropping out of Moop, their band. Well Stan, Kyle and Kenny try to find inspiration from music downloaded off the internet for free. But, okay, unfortunately for them, the FBI comes in and arrests them. And then they actually come to find out that it is a big deal after the detective takes them outside and shows them the damage they're causing. And that's when they decide to go on strike to stop free internet downloading. While Cartman forms the Christian rock band Faith Plus One trying to get a platinum record but instead is presented with a Murr record. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, um, uh, number eight for me is preschool. Now, okay, in this episode, the boys learn that their former preschool classmate Trent Boyette is being released on parole from Juvenile Hall after five years locked away. And he's out to seek revenge on them. So, what do they do? They go to the sixth graders for protection. The sixth graders try to protect them. But they end up getting beaten up themselves. Well, Butters takes a turn for the worse when he actually gets a bad beating from this boy. But in the end, it all comes down to a taser setting the preschool teacher's wheelchair to finish her off. And Trent goes back to juvenile hall. Okay, at number seven is fourth grade. Now this was a pivotal point in the series as it moved the kids up into the fourth grade after three and a half years of being in the third grade. And their new fourth grade teacher, Miss Chokes on Dick, 
is growing impatient with their behaviour. While on the other side of the plot, Cartman convinces the class that the third grade was a better year for them. And they have a time machine built from Timmy's wheelchair, which actually sends Timmy back all the way through time. And in the end, is when we get the message that we shouldn't look back, we should look forward. And that's the first time the message was ever conveyed by any media source, to my knowledge. At number six, weight gain 4,000. Now, in this episode, when Cartman's environmental essay wins a national contest, where he would be given his award in front of everybody by Kathy Lee Gifford, he is advised to get in shape. But instead, he starts eating weight gain 4,000 and gets so heavily out of shape. And then Kathy Lee, her life is attempted on being taken, that's right, and at the end of the episode, we find out that Cartman actually did get to be on TV, on the Geraldo show. <laughs> okay. Number five. Terence and Philip, not without my anus. Now, this was an April Fool's episode, believe it or not. And it's to do with Terence being tried, but not convicted for a murder that he was believed to have committed. So Terence and Philip get away with the murder, and then they go on a mission to stop Saddam from taking over Canada. Which they succeed with by farting. Which is what they're known for. <laughs> okay, uh, number four is... Jakovasaurs. When Cartman finds... Or when Cartman discovers... A near-extinct species called the Jakovasaurs... They try to bring them back from the brink of extinction by repopulating them. Which then turns out to be a tragic mistake because the Jacobasaurs annoy the hell out of them. So they try to send them away to France via a game show, which is fixed so that Jakov, the male Jacobasaur, would win. They do repopulate the species though, which is why they have to move them away, and also because they're annoying. Yes, send annoying creatures to an annoying country. Not meaning to be racist, but. You know, <laughs> wonderful and exotic, eh? Nah, France isn't exotic. <laughs> okay, at number three, Carmen gets an anal probe. Now, in this episode, Kyle's baby brother Ike gets abducted by aliens. And we find out that Cartman has an alien hoobajube. Up his backside. And also this is about Kyle's quest. To get Ike back. From the aliens. Before his parents find out. And they use Cartman as bait. To lure the aliens back. <laughs> yep. There you go. <laughs> Uh, number f uh, number two. Cripple fight. In this episode, we are introduced to a new kid, Jimmy, which Timmy grows exceedingly jealous of. 
after he finds out that he has a handicap and can use comedy to overcome it. It's making fun of Timmy that ends up being the mistake here, because that's when Timmy wants to try and get rid of him. A subplot of this is Big Gayle being ejected from the scouts for being gay. Conned on, did they? Took them long enough. Also, this is how Timmy manages to get Jimmy kicked out of the scouts. After Big Gay Al wins an appeal to allow gays into scouts, he then turns the tables and say, if he's free to express himself, the scouts need to be free to express themselves and allow them their decision not to let, not to let gays into their private clubs. And Jimmy's then kicked out for being gay, but it's just a photoshopped image on a on a gay body. Photoshop is <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, now, my number one episode of South Park is actually a trilogy. It's the Imagination Land trilogy. In this, the boys are taken via a, a balloon into Imagination Land, where imaginary characters live, and it's attacked by terrorists. And Butters, the unlikely hero, ends up having to save the day by reimagining Imagination Land after it's blown up by a nuke. <laughs> and yes, there's this whole thing about imaginary characters being real and imaginary situations that occur also being real. Except the only one thing that isn't imaginary is Butters getting grounded for saving the imagination. <coughs> yeah, such douchey parents. That's it for this top ten, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you for another one soon.